We're still here. We're still here. We're, We're still alive. Here. We made it. And check this out. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, you talked to this dog. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. We're talking about. Free agents, and of course, uh, Ultra David can't be here, but I am joined by Bizarro Mike, right, uh, now a writer for Yahoo Esports. Yeah, right. We have Tasty Steve, and you know we have right. Pasty Steve. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Pasty I'll take Steve. Pasty Steve all day. <laughs> wow. Tasty Steve and Pasty Steve. That's why. I'm uh, so sorry. That is. Bye, a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, all I do, you've <laughs> seen me in the chats, right? Yeah. All I do is post RTSD4, the teeth. Dude, it's unfortunately, I have not subscribed to Eros. Oh, I don't put it in big there right mistake. Now. I'm on the two month club now. Oh. <laughs> I can't live without the emoticon. I have to have it. Oh. I've only tweeted, I've only subscribed to one channel so far. I, Ditto. This is my first I one. haven't, I haven't, uh, it's probably your own. Popped my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he follows really? himself. You know what? It has all the killer <laughs> instinct content. No, oh, oh, me? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, actually, I, the only, full disclosure, only stream that I've, Subscribe to is IE Battlegrounds. Oh, because okay, Mondo is the Yo, hardest shout outs working to Mondo. Man. That yeah. dude legit. breaks right. his back. Yeah, exactly. So, but uh, we have some other news coming up here. We've got some interesting moves in the fighting game esports world right. here. And uh, the main two big news is that one, Punko has been signed by The Secret, yeah. which uh, is a huge esports company. Yes. And uh, based out of Europe, right? I think so. I think Europe, I think Europe yeah. yeah. But then the interesting news is apparently Tokido and Mago, formerly of Team Mad Cats, has had their contracts expire, mm -hmm. and there's no word yet on on whether they've been renewed or not. All right. So the contracts ran out in March. March. Okay. At the end of March, then they're year contracts, and they just haven't been renegotiated or anything. So technically they're free agents. Mad Cats could re-sign them, but there mm -hmm. hasn't been any talk. Right. So they're free agents. Just crazy. Right. <laughs> like, you know that they're getting, they have to be getting offers right now. Well, right. think about it As like we this. speak. Is Mad Cats in a position to re-sign them? Do, do, I mean, they considering, right. considering what just happened with Mad Cats and them kind of slowly but surely kind of dismantling mm -hmm. the part of the FGC that, you know, right. built them. Yeah. Essentially, shout out to Mark Man. Um, do did I call it the secret? You did. It's yeah, team secret. It's team, 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 team secret. I, I thought you knew something I didn't know. No. I was like, well, obviously. This is like right up there with Arbiter and, and, and Pokemans and, 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 and Ramza and, 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 yeah. and General Ramza. I was like, I'll just let him have it. <laughs> <laughs> but you actually thought I said Ramza on purpose. I, I, I would have thought you said that on purpose. I didn't realize you're. No, I'm not that smart. <laughs> Trust me. I thought you were just like, oh, I have a gag Dude, here. why do you think everyone gets mad at me when I do commentary that I, I have, like, all this wrong information? <laughs> yeah, like Sonic <laughs> Skype, right? Sonic, Sonic Skype. Skype. Every time I heard that, it was like nails on a chalkboard. Dude, like, Skype. I think Skype sounds better than Skype. I definitely do. Like, There's no... It makes this... <laughs> Because the, 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 the sharp K sound no. makes me think of the sharp weapon. No. Nope. No. no. You're Don't. about to kick us off Skype. the show, but Don't. no. <laughs> Skype? Are you serious? It sounds awful. Do you, wait, whoa, whoa. It doesn't whoa, even whoa, feel whoa, good whoa, whoa. to say. I have a question. Throw okay, it to the chat. Okay. <laughs> Do you say GIF or GIF? Oh, 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 that one? I say GIF. I oh, say okay. GIF. Right. I say GIF. Sure. It was about you, to be a you, <laughs> I thought he was going to be like, I say Jif. I, 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 <laughs> he says Jif. I would have just turned into a tornado. I'm like, whoa, I'm out of here. It's not Jeez. peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say Jif and just leave. I was like, I'm quitting the show. But, uh, <laughs> oh, I mean. <laughs> okay, back, anyways. Sorry, free agents, back to the point. Um, team secret, not the secret. Yes. Team secret. Do any, any of you guys, because... My opinion is I don't I don't know where they stand, but do you guys think Mad Cats is in a position right now no. to re resign them? I, I could totally see that being an issue. Yeah, now that you bring it up, yeah, I, I kind of I didn't think of that, but yeah. And, I, I and not only that, but there hasn't been news from Daigo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We don't know if he has resigned them or if he's just not been public about his right. his situation or what. I mean, uh, it's hard I, to I, tell. I mean, honestly, I think it would be a huge like if Mad Cats was like, okay, we have to drop everyone, okay, but if they had to keep one, Daigo. they had to keep Daigo. Daigo. Put it like this: Do you really think, and and no offense to anybody, do you really and truly believe that Mad Cats would continue to sail the way that they sail, even now, if they didn't have a name like Daigo backing them, where they had him on the table as a negotiating? Hey, this guy uses our sticks. I don't think that would be yeah. the case. I don't think that would be. It'd be tough. It'd be and, tough. And imagine if they lost them, it's like 
<laughs> no more Diego. Uh, <laughs> Diego. Did you, did you guys see the gif with the maracas? Oh my god, with the mustache. Because he, he popped Ooh, up on his street. Like it's the first time I've ever seen. So he was going, yes, like yes. That. So oh, someone so photoshopped the mustache. And Man, Cats, you have to sign him just for that. Come on. Yeah, man. I know. <laughs> if if this is the, the next generation of Diego, then <laughs> I'm Man Cats, you guys are missing out right I'll now. I'll buy 10 sticks right now. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. There are a lot of companies out there, I'm sure, because, I mean, look, if Team Secret, a big esports company, is jumping into the market, they grab Punko, right? Right. The only other really, I would say, like, truly big esports company was EG, But do you think they're they're waking up the next morning and going, damn. (laughs) 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 Yeah, I know, right? I I think he was like, damn. He's like, if we had just waited two days. (laughs) No, shout out to Punko. I <laughs> <laughs> gotta find you. Like, I know, yeah. and especially Tokido has been dunking everybody in the game. Besides yeah. Infiltration, mm-hmm. yeah. he has been mm-hmm. dunking everybody in Mago super duper good. So, shout out to Event Hubs who had the translation of that right. interview from, uh, what was it, Team Spirit Zero, I think. Yeah. Um, they, uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at that gap. I don't know if you read between the lines based on not necessarily what Tokido says, but what Mago said, you know, he's like, yeah, they could re-sign or we could go somewhere else. Yeah. And I don't feel like that was sort of like a statement like a, of, of, like, finality, but... Uh, They're still working on it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it... it I the way they make it... Ha- like, what you were saying, do they... Does Mad Cats have the ability... Maybe they do. Um, Even if they do, happening. I feel like it would be a stretch for them. They would, be, yeah. they would be pushing themselves to an unreasonable limit for no reason. It's too good. Oh, yeah, this game it's is too good. good. It's so distracting. So, so you, 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 what you're telling me, Steve, is you would buy ten sticks from this guy. No problem. You would buy wow. especially if they came out with a one where, like, instead of Ryu on there, it was Daigo crossing his arms like this with the rise with up. the maracas with the maracas wow. and the mustache. Mad cats, come on, man. That's the all ri- you gotta do. The rise up with the maracas. The maracas and the mustache from Daigo. That's all you need. Oh, Photoshop them in. They're doing this with maracas and a mustache. I'll buy that stick in a second. A hard one. the Diego Umahuara. The Diego Umahuara. $250 premium stick. Buy it right you now. You buy 10 of them. hundred percent. I don't care if it works on Dreamcast only. I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, I'll need that shit to my house oh my immediately. The Diego stick, no problem. <laughs> man cats, if you're hiring. <laughs> come on. Come on, man. This is easy. The question then is, like, do you think that there might be some other of the big esports teams out there looking to jump into the FGC, maybe grabbing Takedo and Mago? Well, we know Razor's not. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> wait, wait, so fill me in. Why not Razor? Because the issues with the fight sticks at final round, um, and then... They actually had a tweet from the CEO yeah. who basically said, right now we're not we're trying not. to expand anything. Yeah. Uh, we're keeping so who we have. Worried. They want to fix it first. Yeah, they want to yeah. fix yeah. it. So I can yeah. see other big like organizations stepping in. Once, yeah, <laughs> he said, I got to close this. Close. Once, once it's final that Mad Cats is not picking them up, because you know people are probably reaching out to them. They're now. already in their uh, inboxes yeah. right now. Yeah, if, if peop- once it's final that those mm-hmm. players are not doing what's, it, then yeah. What's Kazunoko's status? He's with Guards Garden. Yeah. But I mean, he's That's always I been associated right, with them, right, right. right? So I think it's it's because I feel like he when probably, when he won Capcom Cup, I just feel like a lot of sponsors were sitting around going, "Damn, no!" But you don't because Street Fighter Five. Yeah, that's it's true. Right. You don't right. you don't buy in because it's a new game, so you right. never know, right? You never know. Well, how, but, there's legacy there, but yeah. Obviously, Tokido's done really well, and, and right. Mago's done. Uh, yeah, but done then, well also, but, but Kazunoko hasn't. Right. I mean, Punko's results aren't amazing so far either, right? Well, earlier today on Capcom Flow Talk, we actually were, they actually brought up a really good point in that they said that, you know, Infiltration, he was a free agent for the long time. Yeah, that's true. And he had won, he won what? Multiple right. events. But, but I heard it was because he was a stickler. Right. Yeah. It was probably so was, because he was waiting for the right team. So from I, my sort of somewhat inside experience with uh, some of those players, they are. I don't know if picky is the right word, but they're yeah. very selective about the offers they get. Dude, I, I mean, mean, that's you, your future. You, you ha- yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, you, you, you have to be picky about yeah. it. You I, have to be careful with it. I don't think people understand when you become a sponsored player, the amount of pressure it actually just automatically puts on you. Mm-hmm. That officially becomes right. a job. And, but know? I mean, and, like, well, well, here, look, look, let's just be straight up, okay? 
There are a lot of crappy sponsors. You don't want to become Zevron <laughs> Kazunoko, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't want that to be your future. Exactly, exactly. Uh, it worked so, out for him. I really like their sweater, though. It was so <laughs> Boy, he, he it flaunted was that, too. Purple like, and white, oh, He was so colors. proud of that. Yeah, he, he was so was. proud of that. He was telling me about that, that for forever. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, nice yeah, try. you're right. You're, you're 100% boy. right. It's, it's one of those things that, I mean, of where the the industry's going now, where the community's going now, um, we're getting, uh, and, and I don't know if anybody said it, we're getting a broader scope yeah. of sponsors right. now. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, like I you said. I do feel like outside, like the, the ones that we haven't traditionally seen in fighting games, because I don't know if it's just a matter of like the ones that we see in fighting games right now are sort of like <clears throat> capped out. Um, well, you know, you know, you see them in Smash, the bigger sponsors. Right. Yeah, yeah. But you, it's you almost like it. they go, they, they, they dip their toe in Smash first. And, and, yeah, then, and then they come to fighting yeah. games, yeah. Well, think about it like this. I read maybe like four or five months ago where a couple of uh, independent, like you know, when Rick Fox bought um, mm-hmm. the oh. team, uh, yeah. apparently there was... Echo there, Fox is what he, it was, yeah, right? Yeah. He wasn't the only person that, you know, of his status mm-hmm. to, you know, invest in the fighting game community. Now, whether we've seen it or not, who knows? But the fact is, I feel like it's getting more and more towards the the tune of, hey, I want to put my name out there. Right. Who's good enough that I can ship around one person mm-hmm. to represent me? And I mean, compare that to say an entire team, right. a Dota team or a or a league team. It's true. It's, it's so true. much cheaper to say, hey, <laughs> I'm gonna send snake eyes all around the world, yeah. and I'm gonna send mm-hmm. 15 guys right. all around the and world with their promote, moms. You promote and... one guy instead of getting a house for five guys plus a coach, right, right. plus like an on-site, Dude, they you know, just, whatever. They and... just they just joked about TSM Tokido. I would buy, I would <laughs> buy a to- TSM Tokido hoodie so fast. That would be so Dude, sick. But what's what... weird about TSM is like they actually have players that are also Red Bull athletes. Right, yeah. uh, Which, Leffen, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 and, and uh, uh, Bjergsen is yeah. the same okay, thing. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, here's something interesting, though. I mean, you see, did you see all the cool stuff that Snake Eyes has been doing recently? Yes. Yeah. Like, he got to play with Harrison Barnes, the, the, yeah. the, the, yeah, the Warriors game. Yeah. He was at the game, like, floor seats. Dude, he had he was on, on the, the screen up there. Yeah, he was. And I'm sure everybody was like, does he play basketball? You Are know? you serious? <laughs> I didn't even know that. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah, you didn't see it. It was no. James, please. <laughs> no, he actually told me people asked. Him that, like when he James, says he please. travels around, like the... they think wow. it's a Red Bull sponsored. Oh, he's out of here. All right, James. It's been a while. It's been good. <laughs> no, but that's the thing, right? With bigger sponsors like that, you have opportunities like that, and they're stepping in now, yeah. right? So that right. people can ask Snake Eyes if he plays basketball. Red, or, Bull, you know, whatever, Red Bull's yeah. done really well at yeah. marketing um, their players. Yeah, yeah. It's really true. They turn them into personalities. Yes. Bon- Bonchan, yes. even when Bonchan signed on with Red Bull, he had a plan uh, for what he wanted to do as a pro gamer. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Okay. They facilitated that. Oh, uh, nice. Okay. So okay. yeah, they've they've done really well with uh, with you know marketing, putting their players out there, doing things sort of outside of the fighting game community that generates interest that hopefully you know people will be like oh you know uh, Red is really good at pulling their their resources yeah. like they yeah. make sure you know about them in every facet of anything yeah. Dude, that it's like a life sponsor not just like yeah. a fighting game thing it's that, like a it's like for life that snake eyes series of videos oh, cultivation yeah. cultivation those made for the you. best I jokes <laughs> Oh, it's because you kept using it on stream. Every right? time he lost, he got cultivated, man. That Dude, okay, okay. Job. So instead of planting oh, street fighters, he's going to be cultivating street fighters, That's right? That's what he should be doing. You missed out, Snake. That was your chance. <laughs> All right, you know what? Dan, Dan is down. Dan's Dan, down for Dan, Dan, Well, you can see the Cannon Award better, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, exactly. The Cannon Award for Ultra Chen TV. <laughs> oh, so you and David have something. You and Guy have an article. <laughs> I was just waiting my turn. <laughs> It'll happen. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, I'm not 45, so you know I have lots of time to waste. <laughs> Thank you for getting me before. Before, <laughs> before Thank you for my, getting me that, was a, up. that was a shot at all the old people. Here. <laughs> no, but you know what? Also, shout outs to Mike. He's also the one for Graham Wolf. Came up with the nickname Grandpa. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good, Grandpa. True, yeah. a true man of the scene. You don't. You that don't guy's Twitter anything. lately has been full of like such good Street Fighter fights. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Uh-huh. And it's so like if you want to know more about you... those fast three pages, <laughs> <laughs> hit up Graham Wolf. Fast I think it's Graham Wolf one. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but yeah, I mean. I'm I'm super curious to see what's gonna happen with with um, 
Tokido and Mongo. But on, on the other hand, I'm going to be super happy to see Punko yeah. being traveling around, being able yeah. to go to more events and such. So I think that's but and, and and even with that, with uh, Mago and Tokido, I feel like there's still a lot of really good players that aren't spot so oh, yeah. right. Yeah. There's so only it, so much to go around, right? I mean, that's true. And I feel like right now it's kind of it's in the rebuttal. Like it's yeah. it's they're they're doing the real. Right well, there. I think also what was kind of weird about it too was that there was this weird Street Fighter four to five transition, and there's a lot of players out there that you are just like, I don't know if they're good. Like they they only played Street Fighter yeah. four. Yeah. Towards yeah. towards the end of the game and like in that downtime, you don't want to sponsor anybody because right, like right. you're like I have no idea what's gonna happen in the new game, right? Like so think about like, someone like Chris T. Like right. he only played Street Fighter. Who knows if he's gonna be good? Right. Now you you've seen he's good, so right. it's like yeah, it's, it's that kind of. Well, time. Who who would you pick as the top people that you should you think should be sponsored? Really, besides well, Tokido question. and Mago. In in all honesty, there's a lot of guys. There's a lot of East Coast guys. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a lot of Midwest guys. There's a lot of uh, uh just West Coast in general. So let's right. just say if if you gave me one, I'm gonna I'm gonna take one okay. from each area. So okay. on the East Coast, well, who who is actually not sponsored? Um, Moon's is sponsored. Is he? Is he? Yeah, I thought he was oh, TF, Is he TF? I, I thought he was. If he wasn't, then that'd be If he wasn't, I would, I would put Moon's. I would pick Moon's. I would pick uh, Princess Slim. He's a Guilty oh, Gear player. Oh, the Fang player, right? Yep, okay. he's a Fang player. Okay. I would pick him. Um, And from the West Coast, it's even harder because you have all these guys. Right, right. But I would pick up... Oh man, this is hard. There's, there's two of that in particular. Really hard. Yeah, yeah. It's who would you pick, Steve? Either Chris T or Julio. Yeah, those are one yeah. of those. See, of, yeah. the can. One, can. Of the, one of the can players. players. One, of the, one of the two can players. You know, sorry, Brandon. You know who I would actually? I know he try. He, he runs his own sort of thing, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. um, Problem X. Problem X. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, been doing right. in Street Fighter Four and Five. He's been not to sell short any player. You know, you got. KSK Samurai, all those guys. It's, uh, a, it's a lot of talent. Did you say KSK Samurai? XSK. I always do that. Thank you for correcting me. The secret team secret. Sky God, I can't Sky believe you got a name wrong, Steve. <laughs> you know what makes I would never do something oh, like that. Dude, every, Let's up his Twitter if you can every, every cast you remember is that he is the R-Biter. He is the I, one. It's so you, sick. You don't understand. Like, I can't not call him Arbiter anymore. Like, I feel like it's wrong when I call him Especially the Arbiter. Especially since he's trying so hard, he swallows before yeah. he says it. <laughs> he's got the alien oh. mouth. So, like, he has, like, his, like, crazy tentacle face <laughs> teeth thing. So, I call him the Biters. <laughs> the They're so good. He's got, I'm like, check out his Arbiters in this costume. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, Thanks. I get to make do that on commentary for, like, forever now. Wonderful. It's sick. I, I demand a cut of from that. You know? <laughs> All right, man. I got you. <laughs> no, but because like the interesting thing about sponsoring too is that you know you want to sponsor players who are good and sponsors who are good personalities right, that's true. as well. That's true. And I know Streaming if I had helps. to pick one, yeah. if I had to pick one, and yes, he is a friend, so I'm a little bit biased, but I would 100% say pick up Li Joe. Oh yeah. yeah, Joe's a great yeah, player. He's a Joe. he's a great personality and he's a consistent player for the most he's part. He's a streamer. He's a streamer. He's which is really funny. Big. He is very funny. He's easy. He's personable, so you can push him wherever. He's a good looking he, dude. He interviews well. Yeah, that's for sure. He is a really good player. He can play multiple games. Like mm -hmm. when a new game comes mm -hmm. out, Joe's gonna do well. Right. Exactly. So it's like yeah, he has all those those qualities that you would look for in a player. Not streaming is like rough. If you don't stream, or if you're not personable, or you're not good community, you're just good at playing. It's like you better be really good. at yeah, yeah. Because well, and I think to be fair, like some sp sponsors don't do a good enough job of um, teaching their players yes. how to be like. You're sponsored now. You are now a brand. Not only are you a brand for yourself, <laughs> but you're a brand, you know, for your sponsor. Right. And I think that some sponsors just kind of get in and go, "Oh, we're gonna sign this guy, and he's gonna show up on stream with his T-shirt." Every week. So we're good. That's so it. all it takes. That's all it, yeah. Give them three t-shirts and yeah. uh, a couple plane tickets. It's fine. Yeah. So I am Arcade Shock. Tasty Steve. Oh, yeah. I am. I'm, I'm sponsored by Arcade Shock. And they're good people. They they help me out a lot. And I really do appreciate it. And I make it my point to pump them up as much as possible. I use all their sticks. And I even wear their clothes. And if you think about it, it's not many clothes that I wear for fighting game community. So things like that, they do matter. Now, with that being said, I am not the best. I, 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 I my, my results aren't the best at all. They're not. Not gonna sit here and say they're not. They are. But the apparently I'm a personality, 
And if I'm a personality, I will continue to push my brand regardless of the yeah. case. Even if I can't do it on an arcade stick, I can do it, you know. Right. For sure. Yeah. For sure. So. Just like me and David, right? We're personalities. Be really awesome if we were sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you get sponsored, I'll be like, is that guy sponsored for being a sushi chef? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Red Bull guy, he plays basketball. He's a sushi chef. <laughs> That's Japanese, my uh -huh, I know. Actually, oh, that makes it better. Yeah, it that makes, makes it, it better. And then, and then I see David, I'll be like, oh, he's Jewish. He must be a lawyer. And then, you know, all these stereotypes. <laughs> oh, my God. Just make it but sure. he is a lawyer. Yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's the part. That's the best part. <laughs> wait, wait for it. He is a lawyer. Yeah. The secret, the secret ultra chin. The secret, the, 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 the secret ultra chin. Wow. Well, we would have, I would call my, I would nickname myself General Ramza. Oh, and God. David would be the artist. Arbiter, right? I mean, come on, how does that not work so well? You, you guys get to be the secret Ultra Chen. We get to be TSM, Tasty Jam. <laughs> tasty tasty jam. jam. We get to be whatever we want, you know? Tasty Jam. Benny Hanna James Chen. Yo, Yo. Benny Hanna James Chen. I would take that in an instant. Look, Choo Choo Train. That's no problem. I would accept that. I wouldn't be able to stomach him as a Choo Choo <laughs> Like, he would be making it, it'd be too much. Real talk. The first time I ever went to Benny Hanna, I had a Mexican dude as our chef. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it was the best ever. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best ever. You see James over there just saying, <laughs> like, so mad. It, it was, was so awesome. Angry. Oh, man. I don't trust white people for Asian nonsense. <laughs> no, you know no, it's true. You're half, right? Yes. Okay. So. That's why he aged so well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Nobody knows how old. Dude. I don't want to talk about age with you around, dude. Seriously. Yeah, James. He's just scared Tell me more. Of I'm just happy age. I found someone older than me. In this <laughs> yeah. See, see, this is why Jason Cole can't ever leave. Right. As long as Jason Cole is still playing, <laughs> someone in the scene James is older is okay. than me. Someone in the scene is all that matters. He breaks his hand. <laughs> <sighs> James puts all his money forward to making sure he's still here. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <right. laughs> Um, yeah, as long as grand, Grandpa sticks around, we'll yeah. be all right. I'm glad we had this but, real nice and racist segment. That was good. Grandpa <laughs> just turned 40, like... 40, he's turning 41 this year. Oh, he's turning wow, 41 41? Yeah. I mean, uh... What's uh, uh, his name? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Filipino man blew him up on Twitter. He's like, I didn't know you were turning 40. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. I'm going to have to go quick retweet Shout out there. to Filipino man. Team YP uh, was my man. age. But yeah. So, no, I mean... It's going to be interesting. I mean, you got to remember, this is the, the beginning lifespan of Street Fighter Five, mm. So we have years to see how this is going to evolve and change. So, And I'm sure a lot of people are like, let's sponsor Street Fighter Five players. Street Fighter Five came on. They're like, ooh. Yeah, right. You know? <laughs> a mm. little bit of trepidation. But Num The numbers at events are really good. Yeah, the esports yeah. part of it is doing really they well. They screwed up everything but that. Yeah. And that part's great. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, they, they, they've said it's a long-term goal. Oh, right? yeah. So oh, it's yeah. a long-term It's a long-term goal, so... You know, the game is amazing so far. Yeah. Uh, I, I love the game. So. There's a lot of people that like this game better than they like Street Fighter 4. So. <laughs> the chat's too good. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I can't help but look. I know, that's so good. It's a bad... <laughs> see, well, see, like I said, the now they're just Ultra Chen TV out. stream <laughs> is cool. See, the, 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 the people in the chat here, they're awesome. <laughs> they're awesome. The people. Ultra Chen TV people seem good. Yes, they're, mm. they're, they're, the, cool, good. they're the coolest. Whenever, whenever we stop by, I'm... I'm always happy with them. <laughs> always happy with them. I like the tap. I'm always happy with them. Uh, yeah. um, I oh. think that Margo and Tokido take their time. I don't think mm -hmm. we see them yeah, I jump agree. on I anything agree. right away. If they don't get an offer from Mad Cats, then they'll get something. Yeah, else. traditionally, mm -hmm. uh, from what I've seen, those the the Asian players, Japanese players, you know, they they will hold out for whatever they feel is best for them. And Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if they're. They're, they weren't getting emails and cell phone messages like the day yeah. that, yeah. that that the minute that that rumor came out. Yeah. That's you know why they. I mean? Did, I mean, them putting it out there puts pressure on Madcats to resign mm -hmm. them or says, "Hey, we're free agents. Yeah. Right. Hit us up." Exactly. So it's like either way, they're probably fine. Yeah, it makes the process all that easier. Right. Cool. All right. Well, uh, let's take another break. When we come back, let's talk about some results. Uh, we'll talk about like the Kakamp Arena event that happened this weekend. All right. And uh, we'll just talk about some little bits of game news. So be yeah. right back.